Desert Christian Center family. I hope you all are doing well. I just wanted to get on here and share a couple things. Um, last Sunday was awesome. Those of you that are able to come and be a part of the celebration service that we had um, on Sunday, it was incredible. I loved being together. Um, I just missed being around you all so much. So it was really great. Um, but we were able to share some vision, uh, how we're going to be going forward with the church and the different things. So if you missed it, if you weren't able to be there, I just kind of wanted to put this out here so that everybody's on the same page. As our pastors have gotten together and prayed and just saw the Lord for the direction, um, we are believing for really good things, exciting things. Um, if you were there on Sunday, um, our pastor spoke about the scripture, Isaiah 43, 19, and it says, look at the new things I'm going to do. It is already happening. Don't you see it? I will make a road in the desert and rivers in the dry land. And I know that many of us know that God is doing a new thing and we are in new places right now. So I just wanted to share the vision of how we're going forward, what we believe God's doing in our church. Um, so just to kind of recap what's been going on, um, you know, as things rolled out the way they did with this in the state of California and the churches were shut down, you know, we did our very best at, at still reaching our, our people, right, reaching our community through doing church, it, uh, church on online, uh, whether that was YouTube or Facebook, you know, just providing some avenue of um, church with a worship and a word. But I think we realized that people need people and watching church from home on your phone or TV is different than being at church and being around people. So the second time around when the churches shut down again, we knew that it was gonna be very important that we gathered as best as we could. So in the last two months, there's been a couple groups that have formed and uh, people have been gathering on Sunday mornings and it's been an incredible time. It's just been, there's been so much life in those times of gathering in homes. Really reminds me of Acts chapter two and how the disciples, they would go from house to house fellowshipping together, eating together, praying together. Um, it just felt like this time of God regathering his people in homes. And what was a temporary solution to the problem, I believe God was doing something new. Uh, so, you know, here we are with just like, okay, how do we go forward? It would be easy just to go back to what we've done before and what we knew because it's comfortable and it's familiar. But um, I know as our, again, as our pastors have sought the Lord, they want to know where God's leading. They don't want to go back. With that being said, we are going to pursue home churches so that every one of you have the opportunity to gather in a home. Now, keep in mind, this is a starting point. Um, I know we have some, some stuff to take care of and, and organize and homes to open and leaders to raise up, but our vision is that homes would be filled. So we're going to pursue home churches. I want to share with you three reasons we think home churches are going to be really beneficial. Um, the first one is building relationships. I think it's so important that we know one another. It's important that we spend time with one another. Some of us have gone to Desert Christian Center for many, many years, but you haven't really gotten to know the people that sit night, right next to you. Uh, the, being in a home is different than being in a church. We really get a chance to connect with one another. The second reason is equipping his people. As many of you know, on the walls of our church building, there was three things written, exalting the Lord, equipping his people, and engaging the world. So equipping his people. We believe that in a home, we can really find out what are the gifts that God put in you? What are you created to do? I bet you there's many people that sit in our congregation that have um, things in them that God wants to begin to birth and come alive. We believe those treasures inside of you can be discovered in a home church. The third reason is that we would engage the world. I think that this gives us such an opportunity to reach people that would never step foot in a church, but they'd come to your house. So this is a way that we can engage the world. We can invite our neighbors. We can invite our coworkers into our home that they would feel like they had a place that they belonged, a place that people cared about them and valued them. I believe this is really a way that we are gonna see the church grow like never before. So I, like I said earlier, we're at the starting point. 
there's a lot um, that we are, we, we've got ahead of us. Um, one thing I'd like to say is equally important as gathering in homes is the corporate gathering of the church. We can't do one without the other. They both are equally important. There is something powerful that happens when people gather together in times of corporate worship. I believe God moves when we lift our voice and we exalt him. Something shifts in the spirit. We get the opportunity to do that when we gather together corporately, whether that's to worship or to hear the word together. So we don't want to take away your opportunity for church altogether and just put everything in the homes, um, even though the homes are going to be an awesome vital part of what we're doing gathering together corporately is equally important so i'm gonna we're gonna give you three opportunities to do that the first one is our celebration sundays on the first sunday of every month this will start in november so not this coming sunday which i know is the first sunday of october some of you have been a little confused about that the first celebration sunday is going to be in november so on the first Sunday of every month, we are going to gather together at the church instead of in our homes that we would normally be meeting with on Sunday mornings. We're going to gather at the church and we are going to celebrate. It is going to be a time that we get to worship God together. We get to um, hear the word together. All those gifts and treasures that have been discovered in you, we are going to see on display on a celebration service. And this is exciting. We get to see our kids get involved, our youth get involved, our young adults get involved. Every one of you get involved on a celebration service. This is the time we get to exalt the Lord and, and celebrate together. I believe we're going to see salvations. We're going to see healings. We're going to see baptisms. God is doing something new and it's exciting. The second opportunity that you have to gather together is on Sunday nights. We are gonna do a service, we're calling it the encounter, and we are believing this is gonna be a time that we can encounter the presence of the Lord. Again, gathered together to worship, gathered together to hear the word. We will be recording those services so that we can put them out on YouTube and Facebook so those that can't attend would still have access to the videos. But this is where we want to invite all of you to come Sunday nights to encounter the presence of the Lord. That's going to be Sundays at six o'clock. Now, the Sundays that we meet to have our celebration Sunday, which is the first Sunday of every month, we will not have the encounter that night. So I hope that isn't confusing. I know we had a lot of questions about that, but the first Sunday of the month will be Celebration Sunday, not an encounter. But every other Sunday night throughout the month, we are gonna meet together for the encounter and we are gonna encounter the presence of the Lord and it is gonna be amazing. So plan to carve out that time in your schedule um, for Sunday nights. The third opportunity that you have to gather corporately is for prayer. We are moving prayer back into the sanctuary. It's gonna be Thursdays, Thursday nights at six o'clock. And I wanna encourage every one of you to come and be a part of prayer. It's so important that we're praying. And I know every one of you know that. But again, sometimes it's just carving out time in our busy lives and making it happen. So um, come and join us Thursday at six o'clock in the church sanctuary for prayer. I know this is all new. I know that it looks different, but like I, the scripture that we read at the beginning, it says, look at the new thing I am going to do. It is already happening. Do you see it? That is Isaiah 43, 19. I believe the Lord started something. You know, in this last six months, as things have been going a little, a little crazy in the world, God has not been uh, taken by surprise. He's not been nervous. He's not been like, oh my gosh, I got to come up with a plan B. Like God knew all along what was going to happen. And I really do believe that he has set us on a new path so that we can engage the world, so that we can equip people. I encourage you to be a part of everything that's going on. Again, this is new. So you might still have questions. You might still be wondering, um, what it's all going to look like. I want to give you an opportunity um, this Sunday night, which is going to be our first encounter night. At the end, we're going to give the opportunity for anybody who wants to, to stick around for kind of a question and answer time. Um, there are a lot of questions. There's a lot of um, people just wondering how this is all going to work. And some of it, we're figuring it out as we go, but we'd love to answer the questions. So this Sunday night, 
If you could stick around after our service, we're gonna do a, a question and answer and help you out with anything that you still may need um, some answers on. But I am just really excited about where the Lord's taken Desert Christian Center. I think we have such great opportunity in reaching the world, which is what the church is called to do. It's time for the church, the body of Christ, you, to be the church. And I believe that in this new way forward, we're gonna get the opportunity to do that like we never have before. Um, I believe that we're gonna have times of equipping and training that you get to go out and engage the world. And we're gonna see God do great and mighty things. I'm excited. I hope to see you all on Sunday night at six o'clock for the encounter. God bless.